The shape of the United States map is an iconic image that has been used in a variety of forms throughout its history. A new exhibit that the USM Osher Map Library examines the use of the shape in political campaigns, clothing, and household goods. Brian Knobloch talked with John Fondersmith, the curator, whose collection is the focus of the exhibit, about the wide range of objects that have been used to symbolize the country. John, we're here at the Osher Map Library, and we're in part of your collection about the U.S. symbol and shape of America. Tell us about how you got started. Well, I got started uh, uh, about 30 years ago where I saw an advertisement in a magazine that used the map shape of the United States. I thought, gee, that's interesting. I've always been interested in maps. And I tore it out and, and put it in a box. And, and it kind of mushroomed after, after that. And what drew you to the shape? Well, I mean, we all know the shape of the United States. It's, it's ingrained in our mind, but I think it resonates with people differently. Uh, so I'm, I've been interested in maps, but of course these things are not maps. They're using the map shape as a, as a, as a symbol. And as I became more aware of how often that was done and how we as Americans and others just got accustomed to this as a symbol, I, I think that kind of turned me on. You coined a phrase, Eushapia, to describe it. Uh, talk about that a little bit. Well, about 10 years after I started, and I was getting more serious about this, and I'd read some things that maybe put it in a more framework, but I, there didn't seem to be a term that described this. So I was fooling around, and it's fairly simple. Uh, it's a U.S. and shape, and, you know, kind of played around, put that together, and it said Eushapia. And, um, that was a eureka moment for, for me, I think. It had a name to this uh, thing. John, you're standing in front of a collage of some of the items from your collection. Talk about that a little bit, please. Well, this is one of the most exciting things, really, that came out of this exhibit because it's uh, original artwork commissioned by the Osher Map Library and done by Jonathan Bloomberg. And he, what he did, he took uh, images from my uh, collection uh, and there are over a hundred different ones here from all different kind of sources and, and arrange them here in the shape of the map of the United States. He, he calls this the United States of Eushapia. And it's really uh, intriguing, uh, both from a distance, but especially when you get up and, and look at, you know, each, each one. And because you, you see kind of condensed in one place the, the great variety of ways in which the, uh, uh, the map shape of the United States is, is used in different ways. The shape of the United States is not something you, you would design as an icon or as a logo. Why do you think it has become such a symbolic uh, item? Well, it's because, you know, and you're right, it's partly, of course, billions of years of geologic forces and then where the, the northern and southern boundaries uh, are, are located. And, uh, and kind of a very recognizable uh, shape. And I, th I think that's why. And then the, the, the sea to shining sea kind of thing is very important. That's somewhat unique for countries, of course. You have a lot of examples of things here uh, that use the shape, Pol political examples, of course, but there are some other things here uh, that, are, that use the shape as well. Uh, talk about some, what some of those are. Well, there's, for example, the culinary uh, articles, uh, baking pans, cookie cutters in the shape of the United States, uh, book covers, uh, I'm especially interested in those and, and uh, advertisements, uh, their, their jewelry, uh, there's, there's just a, a wide, uh, and their artworks, their deliberate artworks that are done in the shape of the United States. So there's a wide range of uh, uh, things that do use the, the shape. And how do you think that that wide usage reflects the American experience? I think because people kind of, uh, they know it, they learn about the map, they know that, uh, you know, it's a big country, it's a sea to shining sea, so to speak, and, and so it just, it resonates with people, and, uh, and yet it's a very recognizable shape because of, you know, Texas and Florida down here, and Maine sticking up, and so on, so. Uh, on, on, the, on the Northeast. So uh, it, there's no 
mistaking it uh, when you see it. Although once in a while it gets in these informal things, it gets kind of distorted, but there's no mistaking it. The exhibit runs through the end of February, and it's really great that you've decided to share some of it with the people of Portland. Well, uh, and I want to say the, the staff here at the Osher Library, Map Library has just done a great job. It's been great to work with them. And uh, I'm anxious to hear the feedback from the people of Portland and, and elsewhere that, that come here and, and see how this you know, resonates with people and what their reaction is.